For me, my entire life has been an experience of curiosity and creativity. I'm the child of an artist, and my mother raised us to enter into exploring our lives by making things and playing with stuff. I really have quite a magnetic attraction to folk art and work of tribal and indigenous communities around the world. In the process of transforming material, I get to have the most intimate relationship of my entire life with the part of me that is just me. I believe that my instincts are my closest connection to the place of mystery beyond the body, but also the closest connection that I have to my ancestors, because I have existed in a pressure of trauma since before my birth, because my parents are black people in America. They grew up in Jim Crow. The clearest way that I have in this time, in this world, is actually the creative process, the process of transforming object, material, surface, moving through ideas. If somebody asks me what love feels like, I would say that love feels like a quiet room filled with all of my power tools, with the ideas that are running a carnival in my head. And that's what making art feels like to me. And it feels unique and different because I feel like I also exist in a world that is incredibly systemically and strategically unloving. It is an act of restoration. It is an act of equalization. It is an act of healing, and the root word for healing is wholeness. For me, that place of another human being having a feeling when they see my work, that is a place of like literally activating oneness. I gave myself the title Citizen Artist at a time when I had just exited a pretty deep depression. For about six months, I came to a place where I needed to decide what being an artist meant for myself. But I needed a definition for my life and for my time that was right for my body and my heart and my spirit. And I chose the title Citizen Artist because that meant that the central engine of my practice would be nestled in my citizenship as an earthling. In the realm of my private life, in the realm of my life as a black, queer human being, I could inhabit my practice as somebody who is quite naturally loving. An entire show of my work is quite an adventure. And there's a place to be childlike and there's a place to be mournful, and there's a place to experience wonder. It never felt right to me to silence the voice that is inside of my head or inside of my heart. I believe that this is the force that will save us as human beings is the capacity to actually be vulnerable and to say where we are suffering and where we are grieving and to actually say what we love and to expand the place of resonance where we can all hold without violence each other's vulnerability. I think people's hearts are in so many different places and I do think this is a show for human beings who want to be in relationship with their heart. <laughs>